What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and with Wimbledon just around the corner It's a perfect time to go through some of the players we should all be watching out for during the men's event at Wimbledon 2021 There are some names that we haven't heard from for a while and then there's some obvious ones of course with the goats being playing as well Let's go straight to the list of who we should be watching this year So the first player that everybody should be watching out for for Wimbledon in 2021 is Felix Ojeleasim He's the world number 21 currently and he is a very very good grass court player We've seen that over the last couple of weeks actually made the final in Stuttgart a couple of weeks ago And then backed it up the week later getting to the semi-finals of the Hello Open and during that tournament He actually beat 10 time Hello Open champion and of course grass court legend Roger Federer along the way and back in 2019 He actually made the third round of Wimbledon eventually going down to Umber in that third round So definitely an accomplished grass court player and definitely one to watch his game style being six foot four He's got some big serves and he's got some big ground strokes definitely one to watch at Wimbledon 2021 Second player on my list is another kind of an obvious one over the last couple of weeks based on their form Matteo Berrettini He's been in great form over the last couple of weeks and not only that but in 2019 he also had a great grass court season in 2021 He won the Queens Club Championship, which is an ATP 500 event one of the biggest grass court events of the season And also as I mentioned in 2019, he had a really good grass court season He actually made the fourth round of Wimbledon eventually losing to Roger Federer, which is not a bad thing Berrettini has had a great 2021 not just on the grass courts, but also on the clay courts We saw him during the clay court season play very very well and of course making this quarterfinals of the French Open pushing Djokovic to four sets so that'll be a very big confidence boost for him going into Wimbledon The third player on this list is a player that we haven't seen for a couple of months We haven't seen him for a long long time and he's always a dangerous player in the draw It's Nick Kyrgios. He is the current world number 61, which means he will be unseated going into Wimbledon Which means he could play against anybody in the draw. He could play Novak Djokovic in the first round That's how crazy this could be. Of course made the quarterfinals back at Wimbledon 2014 having that dream run that breakout run and during that run he actually beat Rafa Nadal, the famous Rafa Nadal win. So we know that he loves playing on these courts. And don't forget in 2019, he actually played Rafa Nadal and pushed him to four sets there as well. So Rafa's not playing this event, but Kyrgios is still going to be dangerous. And as I said, a player that we haven't seen for a long, long time. We haven't seen Kyrgios since the Australian Open all the way back in February. So it's been a long time. He hasn't played since losing to Dominic Team in five sets at the Australian Open. So how will he look? He hasn't played any lead-up tournaments. He's just getting to London right now. So we'll find out what he has to do. But this might be the best thing for Kyrgios. With no pressure, no preparation, and he can just go out there and swing for the fences. All right, going to the next player on the list, and it is Riley Opelka, the number 32 in the world. He will be seated at this year's Wimbledon. And a lot of you might not know that he actually won Junior Wimbledon back in 2015. So he is a former Junior Wimbledon champion from only six years ago. So he does have happy memories at this venue. Also made the third round back in 2019, which was his first main draw appearance. So his debut at Wimbledon in the main draw made the third round. Lost to Milos Raonic, which is not a bad person to lose to because we know Raonic loves playing at these courts too. And of course, he's being compared to John Isner. And John Isner has had some of his greatest results at Wimbledon. He's had some of his best results on Grand Slams at Wimbledon. And of course, with the big serve and the big ground strokes, Riley Opelka is going to get a lot of aces, a lot of free points, probably a lot of tie breaks as well. But Riley Opelka, definitely a dangerous player to watch out for in the draw. Going to the next player that I'm watching out for at Wimbledon in 2021, it's the GOAT. Roger Federer, the grass court GOAT, of course. He's number eight in the world currently, so he's going to be coming in maybe in Djokovic's court of the draw. We'll find out that in a couple of days when the draw comes out. But Roger Federer, of course, absolute Wimbledon legend. He's won eight times at this event. 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2009, 2012, 2017. Of course, made the final here two years ago. Almost won that one as well. Had championship points, lost to Djokovic. But to go with his eight titles, he's also amassed the most wins at Wimbledon in the Open Era. 101 wins. No one has ever done that before. So he loves playing on this court. Won more matches at this court than anybody else. And since winning the tournament back in 2003, his first ever Grand Slam title, he has made the quarterfinals or better at Wimbledon 16 out of 17 times. He's only had the one major upset loss which was in the second round a few years back. So Federer, he wins at this tournament. He plays and he wins and he makes the second week every single time. So expect him to do well again at this event. The next player to watch out for is the current world number 10, Roberto Batista Agu. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why are we picking Agu? He's such a strange player to pick for Wimbledon. He's not a big server, doesn't hit very big ground strokes, 
but he did make the semi-finals here back in 2019. He had a great run there, and he almost got a couple of sets of Djokovic as well, pushed him to four sets in that semi-final. So Batista Agu definitely want to watch. And in three of his last four Wimbledon appearances, he's made the fourth round or better. So he does love playing on this court and has proven that over the last few years. And RBA, he doesn't have the big serve. He is a bit more of a baseline grinder, but he does have an aggressive game style and he can hit winners off both sides, which is someone like David Nelbandian used to do back in the day. So Batista Agu can definitely trouble some players as he's proven over the last couple of years on the grass courts with his aggressive game. Next player on the list is the number 37 seed, Marin Cilic. Definitely got to watch out for him. He won Stuttgart actually a couple of weeks ago, which really shows that he is still around on the grass courts and he's still a threat on the grass. Also, during his career, he actually made four straight Wimbledon quarterfinals between 2014 and 2017, which is a great run for the Croat. And of course, in 2017, he made the final of Wimbledon, his maiden Grand Slam final at Wimbledon. And he lost to Roger Federer in that one. He was injured in that final, which was a little bit of a shame to see. But again, made the final of Wimbledon. Loves playing on this court and has some really, really good memories from playing here. And also doesn't mind playing on the grass courts. Big serve, big ground strokes. Marin Cilic, always dangerous to watch. And he'll be unseated in this event. The next player on my list that you have to watch out for in the 2021 Wimbledon event is Andre Rublev. He's the current world number seven and has had some good results on the grass courts in the last couple of weeks. Funny enough, he's actually never made a quarterfinal of Wimbledon. He's made the quarterfinals of every other slam, Australian Open, French Open, US Open, but Wimbledon is missing and he has an all-court game. So I expect that he will make a quarterfinal of Wimbledon at some point, maybe even this year. And as I said, he has had some great results over the last couple of weeks on the grass courts. He made the hella final only a couple of weeks ago, which is a big, big event. He lost to Umber in that final. And also, don't forget, overall in 2021, he has had a good season beating the likes of Nadal and Tsitsipas in 2021. So he has some really good quality wins over fellow top 10 guys. And with his game style, with the big serve and the aggressive ground strokes, a grass court could be what Rublev needs to maybe get to his first semi-final at a major if he gets the good draw. All right, going to the next player on the list, and it's the obvious one. It's Novak Djokovic. It's the defending champion, the world number one. He's actually won the last two Wimbledon titles back in 2018 and 2019. But overall, he's won five titles at Wimbledon. 2011, 2014, 2015, 18, and 19, like I said before. And of course, he is playing for history. Speaking of 19, he has 19 majors. He just won the French Open, and he'll be looking for number 20 to join Federer and Nadal on 20 majors. So by the end of this tournament, we could have three players on 20 majors. And on the grass courts, he's actually had some great wins over fellow Grand Slam champions. Of course, he's beaten Nadal, he's beaten Federer at this court, but he's also beaten Chilich and Juan Martin Del Potro. So he has some great wins over Grand Slam champions on the grass courts. So of course, we're gonna be watching him over the next two weeks. And the final player on the list to watch out for is Hugo Lombert, the number 31 in the world. He will be seated for this event, so he will avoid having to play against the big guns until at least the third round. And he's had a great season on the grass. He actually won the Halo Open a few weeks ago, which is a massive ATP 500 event and one of the biggest events on grass for 2021. And in that event, he actually had a really good run beating some quality players, including Query, Zverev, Oje Aliassime and Rublev in the final. So they are four great grass court players. We know Query's had some great grass court form. Zverev's got a good grass court game. FAA and Rublev have proven this year that they can play on the grass too. So that's some very big wins on the grass in 2021. And in his first main draw appearance back in 2019, he actually made the fourth round. So he had a big run to the fourth round, eventually losing to Djokovic in straight sets, which is not a bad thing because Djokovic went on to win the whole thing anyway. Umber seems to have a game with his left-handed style they can play well on the grass. And who knows, if he gets a good draw, he might be able to run deep into the second week. So there you have it. They are the 10 players I'm watching out for for Wimbledon 2021. Maybe some names that you might not have thought of. Maybe some names you forgot, like Nick Kyrgios. Maybe Patricia Ragu is a bit of a strange one for you. Let me know down in the comments below, though. Do you think that this is a right list that we should be watching out for these players? Or do you think I've missed someone? Who are you most looking out for? Because I know Zverev. A lot of you want to watch Zverev this week or over the next few weeks. Sidzi Pass, what's he going to be able to do on the grass? Medvedev's playing this week. He might actually be someone we have to watch during Wimbledon because if he wins a title this week, of course, we're going to be watching him. So let me know down in the comments below. Is there anyone that I missed or is there anybody that you are watching out for during Wimbledon? So they're the 10 players that I'll be watching during Wimbledon for 2021, which starts in a couple of days.